welcome back to my channel so in today's uh, video i'll be talking about how i got aws cloud practitioner certified recently and what all uh, resources i used in order to get that particular certification so first of all the major resource that i used was aws skill builder so you can create a login on aws skill builder and they provide different uh, tutorials and different webinars and different options which you can use in order to learn about aws services and different cloud features that are provided by aws so once you are signed in into aws i'll show you my uh, aws uh, login for skill builder so i have registered for all these training as of now and uh, no this is a course catalog let me show you what all can be done so this is something that i have already registered and i'm working on it so what you can do is uh, the first thing that i would like suggest you can go through is like let's say you have registered to different modules so the first modules uh, module which i explored was aws uh, cloud practitioner essentials training so this is the training which i completed and it gives you in-depth understanding of different services along with the break uh, breaking of how these services uh, I used and what is being used for so like I completed this particular training and for that basically it describes different modules like in module one it talks about AWS it's an introduction module then there is compute in the cloud so it talks about EC2 instance different instance types which is also there on the exam then pricing scaling all these different things are about ec2 instance and the compute service is being discussed in this particular module then module 3 which is global infrastructure and reliability module uh, where they talk about edge locations availability uh, zones and different kinds of questions which can also come from this particular module the networking then they have uh, one of one module is about security shared responsibility model so all these modules are being used and uh, these are some of the major modules which are being covered in your aws cloud practitioner certification so i would highly recommend you to go through all these trainings that are present on aws scale builder so once you have completed this particular training uh, there's a very good lab hands-on exercise which you can do so that lab is quest lab uh, I completed that lab as well. So that is this is an AWS Cloud Quest lab, which is a kind of game which starts up. And once you go through different modules in this particular game, there are different steps which you have to accomplish. And at each step, you will be learning different uh, different modules such as about cloud computing essentials. You'll be learning how do you configure, how do you set up EC2 instance, how do you configure different networking uh, concepts you'll learn such as VB, vpc subnets you'll also learn about security groups so that is something you'll get hands-on exercise and you can make use of it it's an excellent lab i would recommend you should go and explore this lab for sure and it is also very interesting since it is in the form of a game so it's an interesting lab then once you are done with this then you have basic idea about all the services that are present in AWS and you have gone through this cloud quest lab exercises also. So you have a fair good idea about how you can use those services in the labs and you get a hands on exercises as well. So after that, what you can do is you can do some practice questions like there is one exam prep. Uh, AWS uh, certified cloud practitioner. So you can register for this particular course and in this particular course also um in this course he will teach you about uh, different uh, questions he will take you about on different questions and different concepts so you can go through this course as well and then you can uh, work on some practice uh, questions that are available online uh, might be on youtube you can search for certain questions which you can practice online so these were some of the courses which I actually did for AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. And other than this, uh, I also registered for AWS Educate. So I'll tell you about AWS Educate also. Uh, they provide free batches in different modules or in different services. So in a while, I'll take you through AWS Educate as well. so guys i have shown you how you can register on aws skill builder and you can complete 
some of the courses in order to get more aware about AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. Now, the next thing that you can work on is creating an account on AWS Educate. You can register on AWS Educate. And once you have registered for AWS Educate, there are certain batch courses in which you get the badges for free. Okay, so some of these courses are like the ones that I have registered over here, which are available and which I have already completed prior to giving my AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So these are the courses which give you batches, uh, which, are, which are credibly approved batches along with uh, labs and hands-on exercises so that you get more in-depth knowledge about that particular module. So these are the different modules. So let's say if I go to compute module and uh, it will tell me in depth about what all uh, what all things are there in EC2 compute and I will get to know more about uh, EC2. So this is an interesting module that you can cover EC2 module. It will also help you uh, get the hands on lab exercises. Also, it will help you better and uh, to better understand the compute uh, concepts in depth so this is an amazing course which you can go for then there is this another course which is your storage course which also i have completed before giving my aws uh, uh, cloud practitioner certification so you can go for this course as well so this talks about different storages that are being provided by aws such as your s3 bucket efs and uh, ebs so it talks about different modules how is the pricing being done so that is being discussed in this particular uh, getting started with storage uh, lab also along with it you will also gain one batch which you can link to your linkedin profile and you can showcase that you have an expertise on these particular uh, topics in aws so it is something that you should go for and recently they have added these as well networking lab and uh, deep race primer so you can go through all these modules so basically you can go through aws skill builder you can also go through aws educate and uh, you can complete these courses and then once you have completed these courses you will get a deep understanding of how uh, and what all services are being present in aws and basically aws crowd practitioner is a foundations exam and it will test you on different services and uh, what all tasks are being performed by those different services so it's a beginner level exam so once you have gone through all these courses i think it should be good you will get a good understanding of all the uh, all the modules and the services that are being provided by aws so you can start preparing in this way for your AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. And once you have done all these things, you can look into the different uh, questions and answers and different dumps that are being present on YouTube or any other websites in order to check what kind of questions are being asked on uh, the real AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.